Hey guys, so I just got back from the theater from seeing Jigsaw, the new Saw movie. Um, yeah, it's like an old friend that you haven't seen in seven years comes back to, to you know, greet you. <laughs> um, I have been a pretty big fan of Saw series. I generally, you know, as far as like my favorite horror franchise of all time, this ranks is one of my favorites. Like, I can't lie. Like, even if they got stupider as they got along, I still enjoyed them and found some good, some fun entertainment out of them, even when they got really stupid. <laughs> like I said, um, it's one of those series, if you don't like it, I understand. But if you're one of those assholes is like, oh, it's just torture porn, where stop being a snob. <laughs> uh,. But anyways, when I heard they were making a, seven, a new one, I'm like, fuck yeah, let's, let's do it. Fuck yeah. Mainly because the last movie, which was supposed to be the last movie, kind of pissed me off because it didn't really answer any questions I had. It pretty much left me with more than I had starting uh, when the movie started. So I'm like, okay, you better fucking... I, I, I was like... Damn it, that better not be the last Saw movie. And for a while, it was looking like it was going to be the last Saw movie, which pissed me off. Because I'm like, you can't end it like that. You have to explain some things before you end the series. But nope, they were like, this movie ain't making it, this series ain't making any money anymore, so fuck it, we're just giving up on it. And then, like, out of the blue, they're like, nope, seven years later, we're going to, you know, make a new one. Like, cool. But it's not going to include anything from what I could tell from the previews. Like, it, it not include really anything from the other seven films. I'm like, great. That's just fucking great. But whatever. I, I was like, it's a new Saw movie. And, like, it's tradition. Like, it, it was tradition for years. Like, seven straight years. Like, uh, about six, seven straight years that it was tradition for to go see a new Saw movie every Halloween. And I said, it's just felt like like something was missing for the last seven years you know it's just doesn't feel right um and yeah uh as far as the movie goes if you liked it or if you've liked the other films you'll probably like this movie because i did uh it was fine it, like it's it's exactly what you expect going in but if you don't like it They've never liked the Saw movies, this ain't gonna change your fucking opinion. <laughs> um, if this, if I, I'm hoping, kind of crossing my fingers that this might be the last one because I don't really know if I want to see any more of these. And if so, I'm fine with this being the final conclusion to it, even though it, oh, I'll get that. It doesn't really, I still have questions from the fucking other movies, but whatever. I'll get that in a second. Um, it's really hard to review these movies about, like, uh, because they're not high-class art. Uh, they're pretty much everything from the other ones that you saw in the other ones is pretty much in this one. Like, there's bad acting, there's uh, really stupid people in these traps, there's people making s countless stupid decisions, uh, nobody thinking with their brain, uh, and that's with any horror movie anymore, but Saw especially. Um, the, I, I kind of liked about, what I liked about this movie, mainly about this movie, was that it kind of went back to the roots of the original a little bit, in that it was kind of like a mystery. Like, it was like a kind of interesting mystery. Like, I was kind of curious as to where this was going. Because, like, I was not knowing where the fuck this thing was going. Because there was, like, so many red herrings and everything else. Like, it's a genuine mystery of who this new Jigsaw c copycat killer is. And there's also, you know, the idea brought up that maybe Jigsaw is not dead, and I'm like, if they, if that is the fucking twist, I'm gonna give up on this fucking series completely, but 
I was generally interested in where it was going with this, like, film. Like, the mystery was kind of intriguing. Like, and also the traps, like, the main uh, game going on, uh, it's basically taking place on a farm, as you've seen in the trailers. It's pretty much taking place in the farm. And it's, uh, your stereotypical Saw characters that just, if you, if half these characters would think with their fucking brain, like I said, they could figure out the easy solutions to a lot of the things that are presented, a lot of the traps that are presented to them, but they don't think logically, and because of that, they end up fucking, you know, you know, uh, regret it in the end. Um, I, like I said, uh, I, like, I, the actors in this movie weren't terrible. Like I said, there were some kind of interesting backstories. Like, uh, you have, uh, the main focus of the movie, uh, are the, um, are the, uh, people that work at this morgue. Um, uh, it's this war veteran who has, his wife died and he's been through hell for war. He was like, I think kidnapped and, and um, where was it? I forget what fucking part of the, the of the world he was kidnapped, but he was tortured and he survived somehow. And he's back from the war, and he's kind of always been fucked up and a little bit fucked up. And his wife died shortly after, and you know it's like kind of an interesting story. His story is kind of interesting, and then you also have his colleague who is obsessed with. John Kramer, or Jigsaw, and that she has her own fucking... St this, I'm going to get into spoilers, by the way. I'm kind of getting again. It. It's going to be hard to talk about this movie without getting into spoilers, because, I have to, because then I'll be starting to get vague. I'll try to keep the major stuff out of, you know, you know from being spoiled, but um, she has, like, a fucking studio that she somehow collects all the, of his old traps, like the bear... The uh, the bear trap, verse bear trap, uh, to uh, that angel wing thing that he had, uh, to like a lot of like 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 kind of like there's a scene where she's in this like uh, in this uh, loft and where she has all these things and you're like it's kind of like trying to figure out which uh, traps were which you know it's kind of it's kind of fun to look at all the traps that were in them and that she was collecting and i uh, she like basically in this universe 10 years later after jigsaw has been dead uh you know the, there's a whole community on the dark web where uh they basically follow like J jigsaw's uh teachings and are like big fans of him and I'm like I can kind of believe that it's not hard to fucking believe if the internet like the internet would be obsessed with a serial killer not hard to fucking believe you know it tries to make an update uh fucking saw for the modern world a little bit I'm like all right whatever um doesn't really go overboard with it but it's it does an okay job of it um um yeah, this is really hard movie, hard to review. Uh, like I said, that, like those two had the most interesting stories. I would give them that. Like they were kind of interesting. Like I said, especially the girl. Like I wanted to delve more upon with her obsession with Jigsaw um, to the point that like they think that she's the new Jigsaw. Um, you know, like she's one of the red herrings. You know that she's maybe maybe isn't the new jigsaw and then you have like this detective who's obviously very seedy from the fucking beginning but he's also smart ass he's kind of like fucking donnie Wahlberg from the other films but he's kind of a little bit more seedier and more of a corrupt cop and kind of an asshole uh for really fucking seedy um more than donnie Wahlberg was in that i, I love donnie donnie Wahlberg was a lot better but um yeah, like this guy, like he's like a wise cracking asshole. Um, he's he was kind of had a few laughs in this movie for me. Um, as far as like, uh, oh god, I forgot about this. How the fuck did I forget about this? There's 
like the people that are in the traps, there's basically a bunch of people that have done horrible things over the years uh, to the other people, and basically the whole rules of their game is to confess that they need to confess to their sins. And the one that I was like, really? You're going with this movie? Okay. Uh, is that there's a girl who, and this is getting the spoilers, I'm going to just, if you don't want to know about it, just stop right now. She is, she tells the story of like, they're like, well, what did you do that you're in this situation now? And she says, well, my husband basically, she says, I don't know what I did because it, it was all my husband's fault that my baby was dead. And she shows for a flashback that he basically suffocated the baby by you know, flipping. He, the baby was laying on the bed and the baby and the dad turned over and he fucking like basically just sat right on the fucking baby. Like, you know, laid, up, laid over the baby and suffocated the baby. And I'm like, oh shit, really? You're going with that movie? Okay. I was like, why the fuck is this one? And then later on you find out no that's not what happened basically postpartum depression and fucking the murder of a baby and I'm like wow you went with that huh movie wow you think you earned that kind of fucking shit in this movie I mean it's not fucking mother where they're fucking devouring the baby but alright fuck it <sighs> Yeah, like I said, it's pretty terrible. Like, these people are pretty... I think she was the most terrible out of anybody. Well, they're all pretty terrible people, but... I mean, Jesus, damn. Um, like, you know, one sold a bike uh, that was... Had faulty brake lines to a guy, and the guy died. Uh, there was a guy who fucking... For his reckless drinking... Causes his buddy to die in a car crash. Um, yada, yada, yada. It's like, one of, it's like, it's like they all have these weird backstories. Um, the gore in this movie is pretty good. I will give this movie credit, except for one uh, gore, uh, one scene at the very end, like, uh, the, uh, the gore was pretty good. Like, there was a lot of practical effects for the most part, except, like I said, for the last part of the movie, there's some really terrible CGI that was really bad, but I guess that's really the only way they could have done that, but still, it could have looked a lot better than it did. It looked like a fucking cartoon, but other than that, like, the gore was pretty good. Like, I remember, like, the last few Saw movies really just using a lot of CGI blood, and it was kind of refreshing to see, like, kind of a little bit more uh, practical effects. I, I, I'm all for practical effects as far as horror movies go. Um, what else? Um, okay, I guess I should kind of get into the big spoilers about my opinion about some of the things that happened later on in the movie. And this is, this one's pretty big. So you don't want to know a big thing that happens about 30 minutes left of this movie. Stop the video. Now I'm warning you. Um, anytime now. Okay. Everybody gone. Okay. Tobin Bell is in this movie as Jigsaw. He pops up fucking within 30 minutes left of the movie and I'm like what <laughs> that's exactly I'm like what <laughs> like it, it, like as he's I'm like you gotta be fucking kidding me and I'm like and I'm like okay no 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 like he can't be alive there's no fucking way I was like this it's, it's impossible, even in this fucking universe. I was like, it was about to lose me. I like, I, I said, I'll give him credit. Like, Tobin Bell was great in what he was in. It was nice to see him back in this iconic role. Um, it, it, there could be nobody else playing this role. And it was nice to see him. Like, it, it probably won't be the last time you'll see him. And I was like, yeah, it was cool. And I'm like, man... It's just how what just no <laughs> like you, there's no way they could explain him being alive. I'm like this is bullshit. 
then I would found out late on that that was a right, another red herring. I'm like, I should have just fought logically. And then when you do find out what's really going on and who the real Jigsaw, new Jigsaw is, it's like, huh. I was like, that kind of makes sense. It's like they, although at the same time, they go overboard with the uh, fucking trying to, like, uh, they go overboard with the trying to, because at the very end, they have, like, like usually the end scene where they explain everything or whatever goes on for about a minute or two. I swear that went on for, like, this one went on for, like, five, because they had explained a lot. <laughs> they had explained a lot. Like, why is this happening? Why is that happening? Why is there the blood of Jigsaw under, under the victim's fingernails? Why is, like, DNA of J uh, John Kramer being found, like, at scenes? And, like, as like, yeah, you have to fucking explain that. They have a perfect explanation, like, for a lot of it. And I was like, okay, that kind of makes sense to me. I'm sure if you want to pick it apart, yeah, you can't. I do have some, still have some fucking questions. But I was like, yeah, I guess you can kind of say that maybe that explains what who were, what, uh, was one of the... Uh, henchman with Carrie Elways at the end of Saw 7. I'm like, maybe that was this person. Um, and, and by the end of the movie, I'm like, I don't know if I want to see a whole new franchise with this new Jigsaw. I mean, Carrie, the actor was pretty good. I think he was pretty, this, this guy, was, this uh, person was pretty good. But I don't know if I can... I like I said, it's gonna be hard. Like, it's not Hoffman. There's no Hoffman. There's no Gordon. I was hoping maybe like, like some continuation of that. That's the only thing that kind of annoyed me. I'm like, some continuation of that, maybe like explanation of where fucking Gordon is or anything. Nope. What happened to Hoffman? Nope. Just like it, 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 the whole. I don't understand why the hell they didn't. Uh, called a because this originally was titled Saw Legacy, and that title actually makes a lot of sense when it's revealed who the killer is. Um, because it's all about you know living on the the legacy of uh, Jigsaw, basically, and yada yada yada. Um, and it's like I and like I uh, and it's like yep, made sense. I was like, it was kind of like. It was kind of interesting, like I said. Um, but I, I, at the same time, I was like, yeah, I think this is time to end this series. I think I said this would be a perfect end to the series, honestly. Uh, I still wish they would have explained, like, kind of explored more with Gordon and Hoffman and all that shit, but nope, nope, nope. Uh, I guess we're never getting that, so... Yeah, I, like I said, it, it's one of those movies, again... It's not perfect. Like I said, there's some pretty terrible acting in this. There's some pretty... There's some little laughable moments. Um, you know, intentionally and unintentionally. Um, but I still had fun watching this. It was fine. Um, yeah, I, I didn't regret watching this at all. It was, it was a fine film. Uh, it, like I said, uh, if you never liked the Saw series in the first place, you're not going to, this is not going to change your mind whatsoever. So, yeah, like, you know whether you're going to like this movie or not going in. So, if you don't like this fucking series already, just don't fucking watch it. <laughs> Plain and simple. If you're, you're a fan of like I was, you'll probably like this. You're more likely like this. Um, trailers. Uh, uh, jeez, tired. <laughs> um, trailer for Winchester the house that ghost built okay one stop or they, they just need to change that title very fucking quickly just call it Winchester they didn't need that whole the house that ghost built that's the dumbest title I've ever heard in my entire life um it's about basically uh, something about a true story about uh some creepy mansion that's like fucking like gigantic uh, it's called a Winchester house or something like that. It was supposedly one of the most haunted places ever. And it's a movie that's got 
of all people, Jason Clark and Helen Mirren, and it's also being directed by the guys who made the new Saw movie. Cool that Helen Mirren's in a fucking horror movie. I kind of get behind that. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's got a decent cast. So I'm like, all right, that doesn't look bad. It looks like an old school horror movie. Just need to change the title, sort the title a little bit. That title does not need to be that fucking long. Um, and then the other one was the new trailer for The Commuter, which I... Like, usually when I get, like, trailers I've seen before, I just kind of ignore them and just look for my phone at stuff that's going on in the news or whatever. And before, until the movie starts, uh, and, like, halfway through this trailer, I'm like, oh, this is a new trailer for that movie. Oh, okay. And it's like, I guess, terrorist? Vera Farmiga is a terrorist in this? Okay. Um... And something like that. I, that's all I got. It's like I, I wish I paid more attention to this trailer, but it's, it's I'm seeing it anyways. It's Liam Neeson being a badass for two hours. So there, <laughs> every you know, so there, right? Um, yeah, that's as far as Jigsaw goes. Uh, I still got to watch the Letterface, so I'm hopefully getting it's what uh, ten o'clock at night. Hopefully, I can get this movie's like an hour and a half, so hopefully, I can get. Uh, this movie done by tonight and I'll have to worry about uh, for Halloween. So, uh, I hopefully will have a review for Letterface within the next few hours. Hopefully. Uh, and until then, I'll talk to you guys.